What we will look at in this easy to follow video is how to wire a three phase distribution board including three phase only and three phase plus neutral. We will look at adding single phase circuits to a three phase board, a mixed board in other words, and we will consider one way of changing the whole board to single phase. There are many types of distribution board, so here we'll keep it very simple with enough information to enable you to understand just about any board that you will come across. Some questions that have been asked have included How should I wire a three phase board? Can I mix three phase and single phase? And is it possible to convert it to single phase only? We can begin with this term ways. What are 10 way boards, 4 way boards, and so on? One way, as we call it, is the space to install a three phase breaker. So this board shown here has four ways. It will take four three phase breakers. There will be a main switch or isolator, which will be either three phase only or three phase plus neutral. This is different to domestic electrics, where the breaker must switch off line and neutral at the same time for the safety of the occupants, the safety of ordinary people who are assumed to not understand electrics. With industrial electrics, it's assumed that the persons working at the board are suitably skilled persons and know what they are doing. So some main switches are just three phase without a neutral. Each way will have an L1, L2 and L3 terminal. We will use the harmonized colors of brown, black and gray. And older boards you will come across will have red, yellow and blue for the phases with black as the neutral. Some will have all black or even all white. In fact, if you're about to work on an existing board, assume nothing. Carry out your own checks and establish just what colors have been used. This is a 10 way three phase board. It will accommodate 10 three phase breakers, each block of three being a way, as we have said. Let's look at the manufacturer's internal connections inside the board. These are usually covered because we don't need access to these electrical parts and they are normally out of sight to us. The grey bus bar will supply a connection to the grey terminals at each way. Then we will have a black bus bar, one connection to each way. The overlapping connections are electrically separate from each other, all done by the board manufacturer. And finally, the brown bus bar. As we said, these connections and bus bars are not normally visible to us. We don't need access to them. We don't need to see them. We just know that they are there. Then we have the neutral connections to the neutral bars. As this is a three phase plus neutral switch, the neutral terminal for our supply wiring will be at the switch. Neutral bars are electrically isolated from the metallic casing and should remain so. And not forgetting the earth bars. Most times these are compression riveted or spot welded to the metallic casing by the manufacturer and are considered a permanent connection. Some people ask if we should link the two bars together with an earth conductor. But personally, what's the point? They are both riveted to the same piece of the metallic cabinet as a permanent connection. Surely this is better and more reliable than a screw joint in the earth bar that might work loose. So here is our finished board. We have the L1, L2 and L3 internal bus bars, plus the neutral bars and the earth bars. As supplied, the internal connections will not be visible. And keeping it simple, this is what we are looking at. Now we can make off the supply connections. Three phases, plus neutral, plus earth. Let's now connect some circuits to the board. Following a logical method, it's really very easy. And looking at an already wired board is just as easy once you understand the basics of the board wiring. We can begin with a three phase plus earth circuit, a four wire circuit. There is no neutral connection to this circuit and it is used for three phase balanced loads where a neutral is not required and will give us a 400 volt supply 
between phases. Some motor circuits will not require a neutral, the load or current along each phase being the same. The result, according to Kirchhoff's laws, is a neutral current of zero amps, so no need for a neutral conductor. Next is a three-phase plus neutral plus earth circuit, or five-wire circuit. This will give us a 400 volt supply and a 230 volt supply. Many three-phase circuits will require a neutral to create a 230 volt supply for relays and contactors that control the circuit, for instance, or perhaps supplying a three-phase subboard in another part of the building. We will need to take all five wires to this subboard. We can also run single-phase 230 volt circuits. We will simply replace a three-phase breaker with single-phase breakers and connect a line to the breaker, a neutral wire to the neutral bar and an earth or CPC to the earth bar. It is not good working practice to run a single-phase circuit from a three-phase breaker. If it's a single-phase circuit, install a single-phase breaker. Here, we've taken the line from the L1 terminal. We can also take a single-phase supply from the L2 terminal. Simply install a single-phase circuit breaker into the appropriate position and make your connections as before, line, neutral and earth. We now have two cables with two brown wires, one in L1 and the other in L2. Be very aware that there is 400 volts difference between these two brown wires. We cannot, we must not mix the wiring to these circuits. If we do, expect a bang. In this example, we are not using the L3 terminal. We are not installing a single phase circuit into it. So, we must blank the hole off in the cabinet cover to prevent access to live parts. We must do this with all unused ways. We do not leave empty ways where access to live parts is possible. Always blank off empty holes so that we are IP2X compliant. IP2X is fingerproof. Objects greater than 12.5 millimeters cannot get into the cabinet and touch live parts. A dodge that many electricians will use if they don't have blanking plates is to put an unused circuit breaker into the hole and leave it switched off. Far better to do that than to leave an open hole. Good working practice says that we should try to keep single phases together. Here we have six single phase circuit breakers spread over five three phase ways. As we said, it's bad practice to use just one connection in each way. If we want to add a three phase breaker to the circuit, where is it going to go without moving things around? Far better to pack single phase breakers together and use all three connections in a three phase way, L1, L2 and L3, and then move on to the next way. By wiring to this configuration, we've left three three phase ways available for future use and expansion. In some of the smaller industrial units, they may only have a single phase incoming supply. Can we convert the whole board to a single phase board? Of course we can. Let's look at this. We have a three phase plus neutral plus earth board, a five wire board, but the incoming supply is only single phase three wires, which are line plus neutral plus earth. What can we do? Adapter plates are available that will link all three phases at the main switch together. Note, this can only be done on a single phase supply. Linking the three phases on a three phase supply is dangerous, noisy, and produces a very bright light. This is an extreme shock hazard. So, the adapter plate will be installed across L1, L2, and L3 at the main switch. The single phase supply, brown on this drawing, will fit into the switch, making the electrical contact with the adapter plate. Neutral will go into the neutral connection and earth into the earth bar. Make sure that the main switch is properly labeled and or recolored to show that they are all the same phase and even consider marking the cabinet to state that this is a single phase board and not three phase. 
our 10-way three-phase distribution board is now a 30-way single phase board. Useful if you only have single phase and you need lots of individual circuits. Install the appropriate single phase circuit breakers, RCBOs, SPDs and so on and all should be good. This could also be a subboard, a single phase supply from a three phase board to an area in the unit where only single phase is required. Of course, domestic type consumer units could be used and they do come in double height units and may be more appropriate for what the customer wants. And finally, a couple of points to finish on. The correct torque settings are becoming more important. Gone are the days when we did them up tight enough just by feel. So use a torque screwdriver, they're a good investment. Most distribution boards will now come with manufacturer approved torque settings for the various screws and connections in the board. These are usually on the assembly instructions and sometimes the manufacturer has glued a label to the inside of the cabinet with the torque settings on it. And the wiring regulations have cable entry rules to any metal distribution board or consumer unit. All conductors of a cable must pass through the same hole in a metal cabinet. That is to say L1, L2, L3, neutral and the earth or CPC. This is to eliminate any electromagnetic heating effects caused by the current flowing in the cables. If all the conductors of a cable pass through the same hole, then the inductive current will cancel each other out. This is regulation 521.5.1 on page 139 of the Brown Amendment 2 Wiring Regulations book. And there we have it. Thank you for watching. It really is appreciated. And we hope that you found this video useful and informative. Our later video will look in more detail at three phase wiring plugs and sockets and more. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.